hello and welcome in the last video we had a discussion about the update method in this video i will be talking about the concept of randomize method okay let me show you the code for this before moving to code let me give give you a bit theory for this randomize method for this randomize method there is a variable called value which get the random value and at, after using that randomize method we have to use the right method and i hope you remember that the right method is used to write the value into the hardware register or the ut register so after randomize method if we are using a right method then this random values will be applied to the dut or hardware register okay all the classes are same as we are discussing from last few videos transaction class driver agent register class register block all the classes are same let me show you the register sequence class so as the register sequence class this uh, till body part body task all the things are same here here in the body we are defining the status and two variables of desired and mirrored value variable to store the desired and mirrored value and here i am using a repeat 5 block in order to generate five random values okay. so the syntax for randomize method is register block instance dot register instance dot randomize which is a method and after randomize method we have to use a write method and write method will initiate a write transaction onto the hardware register so for that register block instance dot register instance dot write which is a method in the parenthesis we have to provide arguments like status and the value so this value variable will contain the random values which we are generating using randomize method okay so how to access that value register block instance dot register instance dot field f0 so as you remember our dut has a single register and it has only single field f0 okay so that field dot value this value variable contains the random values after that i am just using a info in order to print these random values those are there in the value variable okay after that i am just using get and get mirrored value methods to update the desired variable and mirrored value variable and then i am printing both using tick in let me just show you the result for this code so the cd playground is taking time let me show you the result to the ppt itself so after running that code you will find five random values generated by that randomized method because we are using repeat five block so after randomized method the values are like 43 then 08 84 a0 and 0 okay. and as we are using a write method this write method initiate a write transaction on the dut hardware 
or DUT hardware resistor or hardware resistor. You'll find 43 will be there from the driver, right data 40. Similarly, for 08, you'll find the message from driver for 84, A0, and 0B. Same. Okay. And you will find any transaction on DUT will update the desired and mirrored value. So after 43, the desired and mirrored variable will be updated to 43. Then after the 08, both will be updated to it and so on. Okay. And if you analyze the waveform for this, you will find that. Let me increase the size over here so that you'll see. So you'll find something like this. The D in which is we are generating five random values 43, 8, 84, A0, and B. And this DUT resistor temp reg 0 is holding this value. Okay, 43, 8, 84, A0, and B. Why? Because the right method initiate right transaction onto the DUT or hardware resistor. Hence, you will find the content of register will be updated to with this random value. Okay. So, this is what a simple explanation for a randomized method. I will put a link of this code in the description. You can go through the code and you can play around with this code. In the next video, we will try to explore about the reset method and then we'll see how we can use the explicit prediction till now we have considered auto prediction here right remember in the register block as we are using set auto predict is equal to from the after that reset method we'll see the implicit prediction then we'll consider a monitor in our test bench architecture the scoreboard and the inbuilt predictor. Okay. So with this, I hope you have understood the concept of this randomized method. And also I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you.